Now, before we go into the details of exactly how to write a level nine model response to the English Literature Paper 2 exam, I think it's really important to have a brief walkthrough of what you should anticipate for this paper, okay? So now, as you can see behind me, essentially I've drawn out a chart of what you should anticipate for the English Literature Paper 2 Section A exam, okay? So let's quickly begin by going over this section of your exams, all right? Now, when it comes to the English Literature Paper 2 Section A, part of your exams, you've got two questions. So you have one general question, but it's split up into parts A and parts B, which is technically two questions worth 20 marks each. Now, the first question, which is question A, essentially you tend to get an extract, okay? So you have an extract, therefore this question is directly related to you answering this extract and relating all your responses and your paragraphs to this extract, okay? Now, of course, as I mentioned, this is worth 20 marks. And for this question A, it's really important that you closely relate your response to this extract. This is different from question B, okay? So this is still the same question, but you've finished off A, which is related to the extract, then B. Now, B is related to either a more general, broader theme or character question. It's usually a line long. And you are expected to look and to talk about elsewhere in the text that you're studying and answering a question for. It's worth 20 marks and it is far more challenging because you have to rely exclusively on your memory. You might be able to borrow one or maximum two quotations from the extract, but to be honest, I really don't recommend it because it comes across as a little bit lazy. It comes across as you haven't really done the work to remember and to learn other parts of the text. So really, to be honest, this question expects you to relate your answers to your memory and this is elsewhere in other parts of the text and it's really important at this stage in this question to really rely on memorized quotations okay so really that's it when it comes to English literature paper 2 section a questions so now let's have a look at some of these questions and exactly how they are laid out so I'll walk you through how they're laid out and then we'll look at how to write really good model answers to this paper